All right, well, Brady, you know, you've been here for a hot minute and you got to get out on the field in the second game of the season. Just what you can say about that. Um, you know, it was, just, it was just the best time ever being able to get back on the field from high school to, to college. Just definitely one of the best times ever being able to be on the field again. When you got your name called, did bring me into that moment when they said that you were going out on the field? Um, I noticed that I was going to possibly get my chance and we were getting up and I was going to get to go in the game and just there was a lot of emotions, but definitely I was excited the first first second and then I started just to calm down and realize what was happening and then I got put in. It was, it was awesome. What was the first thought when you stepped out onto the field knowing that this was your first collegiate moment ever? It was just surreal, like having that moment there and, and having my parents be able to watch. It was just the best thing ever. What did the family say? They were just proud of me. Everybody that texted me from home was just proud of me. Do you remember the first text that you got after the game? Uh, there was, there was <laughs> just a lot of them. What did, what did your parents have to say? I know you said that they were proud, but did, was there anything that mom and dad said that was like extra memorable? Or um, I, I really think that just the work for this past summer and this, I know it's short being able to get in as a freshman, but this past uh, summer and, and fall camp just really was, I worked super hard and they saw it and they knew it. So them telling me all that hard work, I finally got in. It was just after two games too, it was just really cool. Andre Schmidt, what has he meant to you as a mentor? Oh, he's awesome. He's so supportive of me. He's, I've loved learning from him. He's taught me so much and it's just nice having him and him being really, uh, really supportive and, and helping me with everything. What are some of the things that Andre's taught you that you feel like have immediately helped your game? Definitely just consistency of uh, uh, just like field goals, just consistency of your steps and, and doing the same thing every time rather than I, I came in doing a lot of different things and, and he helped me with that. Nate Trout, who is obviously a very memorable kicker here, uh, has been a mentor to you. Him and I were talking about it, and as good as you've been, and you played quarterback, you were a dual threat, at, you know, at Merritt Island, as well as you know, kicking the ball. You had a unique situation going to the championship game, where I believe you ran twice through a pass and set up your own field goal. Nobody really gets to do something like that. When you look back on moments like that, how has that made you a, a well-rounded player? You know, it's definitely taught me a lot of things, and it's definitely been something that I've been able to tell people about, and just being able to remember that and think about it, and just the times that we had in high school, and doing that really has an impact on my life, and just teaching me everything, and, and it really gets me ready for uh, just kicking, because the quarterback thing is a lot more pressure than just kicking. <laughs> and do you feel i mean how, you've you did so many things at Merritt island so how does it feel to just focus on kicking completely it's definitely at first it was a little weird just because there's nothing else to do and and but after you got past that it's just i've learned a lot and i've been able to just master my craft for the past month i haven't gotten that much better but i've, I've definitely improved on a lot part of my game what is it about your game that you think is better? Just just being consistent with uh, field goals. That was one of the big things. Just because I never, in high school, I never got to kick on the side because I was always on the field. But now that I get to take my time and do all those things to prepare, it's definitely helped me a lot. Yeah, and, and Nate had said to me that he wanted – he said, as good as you are, I'll, I'll never forget this. He goes, I want to see him kick more. And I was like, well, he's going to Syracuse as a kicker. So, you know, what's it been like to just continuously get those reps? Because like you said, in high school, you were on the field playing quarterback, so you weren't warming up on the sideline. Yeah, being able to just kick has been has been definitely – it's 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 definitely weird. It's definitely not, not normal, but uh, it's definitely been really good for me. And, and uh, getting the guys' help is, is awesome. You – being a part of the special teams unit, you got to meet Coach Leg because he came down to see you at Merritt Island. So you've had an experience with him over the last few months. How would you describe Coach Leg to this team and just what he means? Oh, he's came in and made a huge impact on our team. I think that it's what they needed from what they from what I hear from the past seasons. But him, he puts pressure on in practice so that there's no pressure during the game, even though it's 50,000 people that you're playing <laughs> in front of. You know, and, and you got to experience the uh, Syracuse crowd. I think the loudest crowd we've seen in a very long time in that first game. What was it like to be in the dome for that? It was it was just a dream. Like it was in my dream to be able to 
just be on the field and when that happens, just, it was so cool. And to know that forever, that first moment for you was at UConn, uh, when you walked off the field in that game, a big time win, 48 to 14 for the team. What was that kind of emotional journey for you when you got off that field? I think it was just kind of one thing under my belt and I finally I finally got to play and, and just the weight kind of lifted off my shoulders, I guess. And to be a true freshman and play two games then, you know, yeah. it's that's gone now. So do you feel that weight gone as yeah, you step in yeah, week three? Yeah, for sure. I definitely just feel like I need to, if I do get another chance, I just go in and get the job done. Why do you think that you made it on that roster to the two deep to be right behind Andre? Um, well, it, I, there was three. I was technically three, but uh, yeah. I just, they were slowly going in and I guess we went up a lot. So then they wanted to put me in, so. And the last thing, what you want to say to the fans about having a bunch of home games coming up and get that dome rocking? I love you guys. It's it's definitely awesome being able to be on the field and listen to everyone. And they're definitely biggest part of why we play football.